Uh, welcome to Dino Flash Videos. It's now May 29th at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And tomorrow is the big Blouse Turbo Beaver Springs Dragway Evo versus WRX event. Lo and behold, we have some uh, failure on the uh, header seams. Have uh, failed at the seam. So, because the race can never stop, the show can never end. We can never give up. We'll never surrender. We keep fighting to the end. And if we don't make the race, at least we die trying. There we go. Brand new header off the shelf. So, um, we're going to put this in the car, get it tuned on the dyno today, load it up on the trailer, and head to the track. That's the way we roll. I'm going out to Beaver Springs to meet up with my good friend Dave Busher and all my friends and have some fun with my car. I'm on the dyno uh, with the smaller back housing. It doesn't really seem like uh, it's aiding us on the dyno. Uh, it might help us on the road. What I'm noticing is there's more back pressure in the exhaust and it's uh, causing the wastegate to open more, causing my boost to be a little bit lower. Um, we're going to do a pull right now. I got the AEM logging. We're going to uh, turn up the boost a little bit and see uh, what we're doing. but. This back housing, the smaller 82 back housing, may not be the best choice. This is all part of testing and uh, trying to make a fast car. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes work and effort. We're logging, roll into it. Um, I think that's it for the dyno. I think it's time to get this car washed and head to the racetrack. Uh, what's up? The car's only making 600 with the small back housing. I gotta put new wastegate springs in, turn up the boost. Leave it alone. Right. Just, just fix it for it first. So you're saying don't go to the track? Uh, you, look, you make 700 horsepower, you're gonna track 600 wheel horsepower, you look like a fool. Well, um, to me, it's all about the camaraderie of my friends in the Subaru community and Blouse Turbo invited us to this race. Um, yes, maybe it was foolish to change the back housing, but this is experimentation. I need to put stronger wastegate springs and do some more configuration to the car. It's a working project, but so you know what? Once you get your car I'm going to show up. Any of these haters will start running their mouth. And Fuck the blah, haters, blah, blah, man. Blah, 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 I'm going to show up there at the track, bro. I'm going to represent ICS Performance and Dino Flash and say hello to all my friends. Hang out with Master Busher. Collect your motor that's yep. coming for the bad bitch and say what's up with my friends. I'm out here in the middle of uh, the wilderness in my Subaru following my tow vehicle which has uh, broken down, uh, I don't know why, just driving along, doing my own thing, and then uh, just conked out completely, didn't start. So, don't really know what happened, um, I'm kind of like at a loss, but I guess the race tomorrow is over for me. Another, another day in the life of Big Al, out here in the middle of Pennsylvania, broken down, trying to get to the racetrack. So, this is happening for a reason, it's teaching me a lesson, um, it could have been worse, and I'm just happy that I have a Subaru, because um, I have a beautiful car to drive behind my truck, and uh, I'm just going to enjoy my, uh, my little vacation to the Poconos, welcome to Poconos, whatever. After a uh, sleepless night, waiting for the truck to be repaired. We're not making the race. They fixed the uh, the truck. The truck is operational. I'm here uh, trying to prepare the Dino Flash Evo for racing. I'm uh, in a dilapidated gas station, and I'm going to use this uh, opportunity here to uh, to do some uh, testing of the two-step and launching of the car. Number two, the car was out. Um, definitely doing some wheel hopping, but definitely put down the power on attempt number two. Uh, so I think we're ready to go uh, drag racing. Now we got to do a little more tuning in uh, uh, third gear and fourth gear on the highway. Um, the car's running well. Uh, I think my plan is to play hooky for my life, uh, go to a drag strip somewhere. 
and keep going. Even although I missed the uh, I missed the event at Beaver Springs, I was not able to get there with my friend David Pusher and all my friends Beaver Bob and all those guys at Beaver Springs because my fuel pump failed on my truck. Now the truck is fixed. It's Saturday. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Pennsylvania in the Pocono Mountains. Um, why not put the car back on the trailer and head out to the track? I mean, obviously we got some fucking we got some launching action going here, man. It's a little touchy with this uh, twin scroll APS turbo kit. You got to get the car up on the cam to get it out of the hole. But uh, I'll tell you what, if I can launch like that and then uh, get a good shift in the second and third and not break the fucking rear half shaft, I think I'll be out. I stopped here on my way back from Pennsylvania. Uh, made it in uh, the skin of my teeth here. Possibly going to get one pass in. And my car doesn't start. The Subaru. Spark plugs are fouled from all my testing and fucking around today. Got to change the spark plugs. That's what I'm going to do right now. I got my tools with me. Got a new set of plugs. Going to pop them in there. And uh, got a battery charger on there. Maybe we'll get a pass in today. I would say that's slightly flooded. Uh, my battery was low. I left the interior light on. When I got here, it barely had any voltage. And it flooded out. And thank God I got these guys to lend me a battery charger. And I got fresh plugs with me. And tools, my snap-on tools as always. So we'll get the Dino Flash STI running. like another trip down the track. Dino Flash. I got my Subaru up here. Let's hope this shit don't wheel hop and break. Saw it here, 10 second pass, man. With the car breaking up and all fucked up, the intercooler pipe exploded, man. The, the rubber hose, uh, 10 9 at 122. My hands are like shaking, bro. Look at this shit, man. I'm like, the fucking intercooler, the intercooler hose exploded like a zit, man. What are you gonna do, you know? Shit happens. But at least I got out on the track. It was a tough couple days. You guys don't know what happened, but I had a tough couple days. It was really hard, but you know what? I gotta order up a new intercooler hose and just keep going, man. I'm not gonna stop, you know? I don't know why that intercooler hose broke like that. Let me show you, man. This shit's crazy, bro. Look at this shit, man. It just fucking split right down the middle. Crazy, right? Oh well, it fucking hit so hard, it just blew my fucking, my hood, just like fucking got attacked, man. That guy did it, oh shit, it fucked up this shit, man. Wow. That was a serious impact, no? The top off an extremely fucked up day. It's been a while, 24 hours, between the, um, the header breaking, fixing the header, the uh, the uh, uh, truck breaking down, getting the truck fixed, going to the track, blowing off the intercooler pipe, and destroying my hood. It's been a uh, it's been a wild 24 hours, and now traffic jam, big accident. The road is uh, the road is completely destroyed. Like no no uh, no way to get through. So. You know what though, when it all comes down to it, that's all part of racing and, and uh, even though sometimes your road can be bumpy and difficult, then uh, when you're a real racer you get out there and you do the race and you just keep fighting and fighting and you never stop and you always keep, keep going man. It's just part of the life of a racer. Sometimes things go your way and you're sitting on top and sometimes life throws adversity your way and you just have to keep fighting. That's it. That's what we're doing. <laughs>